cake for you. It's a French cake. This is what it looks like when it's done. It's pretty cool. I put a little music notes on top of it just to sort of add to the theme. And it reminds me really of a tiramisu in a way with the flavors that are in it. And it's a layered cake. So I'm going to basically show you how to put it together. And I'm going to post on Facebook the almond cake recipe because it's a little bit of a complicated recipe. So it takes some time to make it. And I already prepared it so I can show you how to layer and put the cake together and I'll post the recipe for you. It's a really great cake and it's made with egg whites and almond flour. So it's really light and it's pretty healthy for you too. So this is what the almond cake looks like. I baked it in a half sheet pan and I'm gonna cut this into three pieces to make the opera cake. So I'm gonna cut. Yeah, I don't wanna cut. I'm not sure I'm gonna let you gonna use the cut. knife. Now, yeah, we're gonna start with me cutting. She's gonna help me, but. Not with this part. So I basically I eyeball it and cut into three pieces. If you're one of those people that measures, go for that. That's fine. I like to eyeball. I like the drama, you know, the suspense of if it's gonna work. So right, I'm gonna take one of the pieces out and this is gonna be my bottom piece. And I always start bottoms up. I've told you guys that before. I like the bottom side of the cake up in this particular recipe because we're gonna glaze it with a coffee syrup and it will absorb into this porous part of the cake. So I'm gonna have this sitting here for a second while we make the coffee glaze. Let's go over here to the pot. All right, so I'm gonna put the burner on and this is a coffee syrup that we're gonna make and we're gonna use uh, espresso powder, instant espresso for this. And we're gonna use one teaspoon of instant espresso. I'm just gonna put that in along with one tablespoon of water. Okay, and then to that, I'm gonna add some water. We're gonna do half a cup. You do water in water? Yeah, but I wanted the first tablespoon of water to mix with the coffee before I put all that water in. Mm. And now I'm gonna add a half a cup of sugar. So those are my four ingredients. It's actually three ingredients, but in four stages. And I'm gonna just stir and have this all come together. I want that sugar to dissolve in this hot water. And then Olivia is gonna help me out. She's over 21, so actually she's almost 24. And coffee, she's gonna coffee, give me liquor, the cognac. Right, coffee, alcohol, and singing, right? It's my favorite stuff. That's it, that's it. So I'm putting cognac in this. <clears throat> it's a brandy. You can use any kind of brandy that you like. Quarter Spinning. cup, that's all right. Get that right in there. You're gonna add that in after the sugar dissolves. You're gonna put a quarter cup of cognac or your favorite brandy into the syrup. It smells good. It does smell good. Changes the smell of it as soon as that cognac hits it. So I'm just gonna let this just heat up a little bit so that it thickens. And then we're gonna brush this on the cake. 
So this is why it reminds me a little bit of tiramisu too, because it has the coffee in there. Tiramisu, you can use rum. This has the cognac. It's a lot of similar um, flavors that go into this as, as a tiramisu. All right, so once this comes up to a, a low boil, it's done. I'm just gonna take that off the heat. I'm gonna pour it into this little container so that we can brush it on the cake. Careful it don't splash you. There you go. We don't bake very much together in the kitchen at home because mm. we don't really bake at home. No. Why would we? So we keep we, we leave that, that here. here. We have a lot of that here. All right, so you can help me take a brush, pastry brush, and we're just gonna brush this over the top of the cake. Ooh. Yeah, smells it smells good. Mm -hmm. Russ is getting into it now. He got the little whiff of the brandy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when you don't want to soak it, you just want to get a nice little coat of that on there so that it absorbs the flavors. And make sure you get all the way to the edges. That's important. Okay. So once that happens, we're going to take some buttercream. And this is just butter, sugar, and shortening, basic buttercream recipe. And to that, I'm going to add another bit of coffee. There it is. A one teaspoon. My little container over here. One teaspoon of this espresso powder. And again, one tablespoon of water. And I'm basically making a little bit of espresso. Just mix those together until mm -hmm. it dissolves. And this is just room temperature water, so it comes up really easy. And I'm gonna pour this right into my buttercream. You wanna stir that? My pleasure. Excellent. That's going to give it a nice little coffee flavor. The espresso powder is really strong, so you don't need a lot of it. And you have the coffee also in the glaze, so you really don't need that much. Get that all mixed in there. Come on, use a little thing. All right, good job. You're going to take a scoop of that and just cover the top of this. So a nice little layer of this coffee buttercream. All right, now we repeat. So we're gonna take another layer of the cake, the almond cake, bottoms up, and right on top. Okay, and then we're gonna brush. So it's a little tedious, but it's kind of fun at the same time. It's gonna be worth it. It's definitely worth it. It's definitely worth it. All the flavors really come together nicely in this. Don't forget, the cake has an almond flavor to it, so that really goes nicely with the brandy and the coffee. All right, another layer of this coffee buttercream, and this is going to add some sweetness to this because the cake isn't really overly sweet. Remember, it's pretty light, made with egg whites and almond flour. Okay, now our third layer. Bottoms up. Excellent. Check out my winging it on the cutting. Really not bad, right? Yeah, I'm pretty excited with that. I'm happy with it. If you do, there's nothing wrong with that. It's better because you can eat it. That's true, you can eat the pieces you yeah, cut off. Yeah, so you've learned from me, haven't you? I've been like a certified that. taste tester since fourth grade. That's right, Olivia has been my certified taste tester since the fourth grade. She almost didn't move to Boston because she didn't want to be away from the cake. I get enough of it when you ship it to me. That's true. All right, so last layer of buttercream goes down on the top and I'm gonna go a little thinner with this one because I'm gonna top it with a chocolate ganache. And so once I get it on, I'm just gonna Make sure it's just a thin layer. I don't want a big thick layer on this top on this top one. Okay. What are you thinking of this so far, Russ? It looks great. Makes you want to go see the opera and eat cake. That's exactly what By I was By the way, I've learned a lot about opera from Olivia over the years. I didn't even know I liked opera. And then it's funny how your kids will bring something into your world that you never expected, and it's been such a wonderful part of our lives. Okay, so to the top of this I'm going to add
add chocolate ganache, and you probably remember from past lives what chocolate ganache is, but it's equal parts chocolate and cream, and we have that mixed together here, and I heated it up so that it's nice and soft and flowy. I'm going to use an offset spatula so that I can smooth this over the top, and I'm just going to come right down the middle with that. There's nothing that can be bad about chocolate ganache, by the way. That looks good. And kind of help it a little bit over the edges. Now you could decorate your opera cake any way you like. You could even just leave it with just the chocolate ganache on top, or you might want to drizzle it across with ganache to give it some texture, or you might want to decorate it with flowers. Really that part is up to you. I made the music staff on the one that we did so that I could put some music notes. Of course, I don't know if that means anything, what I that wrote pretty there. Good. I made some I don't know, of, maybe it created the next best song. I might have. I might have written a little jingle. Who knows? But I put some white ganache. Same thing. White ganache is just made with white chocolate. And I put that into a pastry bag for the design. And you could do anything you wanted with this. But we'll just show you the music staff. So, get a little flowing. And then I made my lines. And I just like it kind of curvy because I think it's pretty that way. And just kind of drag that across from end to end. How many is it supposed to be, Liv? That's way too many. Way too many. <laughs> but it looks really pretty and it covers the cake. I had a feeling it was too many. And then what is the thing that goes on the end called? Treble clef. Treble clef. Is that's that what it looks like? That's pretty good. Okay, pretty good. that's what it looks like now. Not, not too bad. And then we'll put some notes on there. Oh, oh. a little drizzle. That's okay. <laughs> we'll turn those into notes. Let's turn those into notes. Listen. Oh, my bag's got a problem too. <laughs> That was making me nervous. Listen, at least we didn't have technical difficulties today, okay? You can't have it all, people. Just turn those into notes. It all works out in the end. Fine. All right. So there's our opera cake. And here's my opera singer. Thank you guys so much for joining me on live today. I hope you'll try this opera cake at home. It's really delicious. And it's, uh, it's fun. Something a little bit different. Join us. Um, we have some great events coming up. Actually, next week on the 14th is our ladies' night, wine and chocolate. We do have space available. We're going to be making three or four different chocolate items, which you get to eat along the way and take home with you. On the 17th is your favorite day, Sweet Tooth Saturday. Well, you can eat cake filling and frosting. That's from four to six. It's just six bucks. You don't need to sign up for it. You can just show up, bring your own wine or beer to that, or you can sign up online. If you do, we'll reserve you a table. Um, and then uh, we have a cake decorating class coming up on the 24th. We're doing a beach themed cake. We're going to make chocolate shells, a really cute beach themed cake. So definitely come and join us for one of our events. Olivia, thank you. I hardly ever get to see her and this is so cool that she came on live with me. Thank you for being on live with me and thanks for singing. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. Guys, join us on live next week, Wednesday. We'll see you. Oh, we're going to be a little late next week. It's Russ's fault. It always is Russ's fault. Probably like 1.30-ish, maybe, I don't know, 2, we'll let you know. We'll post it. So stay tuned. Russ is saying later, later. So we'll see. He's got a jet set across America. He's very, very busy. See you next week on Live, guys. Have a great week. Bye.